today i'll speak about the stroke stroke is a major disorders at the present scenario uh, the maximum causes of the strokes will be two major factors which includes one is stress second is hypertension that could be bp will go more than 160 and 90 among the two things stress gives more of which will cause this cut in fact that is less of blood circulation to the brain and one more is hypertension which will cause bleeding inside the brain these two contributes the major causes are the present scenario for the cause of the stroke but what happens when you have this trigger this one more of stress is not a one day two day when you continuous love Simultaneously, the regular fatigue is passed over six months. Minimum of six months duration. You have a very high stress. What will go this? What it does? It is uh, when you are taking the stress, your brain consumes lots of energy because you know, all the time, even also when you are sitting at rest, your brains will be working on its optimum levels. If you are just taking at rest, yeah, I am not talking with anybody. I am just relaxing at home, but still. Something you have the stress. Stress is exactly whatever you are thinking, or previous to what you thought it deeply, which you did not had a solution for that. That's called the stress. So that what happens? That activity, that programming, that uh, it completely goes and inside your brain. Even also you are not talking with anybody. So that con consumes a lot. This one more of calories inside your brains. But you will have the brain sufficient to have our regular our intake or how how generally we manage our health. It is something in that way. Uh, the environment is the same. Suppose I will give you this as examples. If we live normal healthy lifestyles, this will be our brain should be completely healthy. The only what twenty to thirty percent. But if you have completely normal, healthy brains, you have the almost ninety percent of brains will be completely functional things. It is almost reach the optimum levels. But when you have the stress, it is reduces the brain function capacity compared to the compared this picture and this pictures. So it reduces the brain functional capacity. So that means what happens? The cerebral parenchyma does not need. The blood circulation, how much is it need to record in that point of time? So slowly, slowly, what it happens? It is, it will start getting up this little bit of sink, or that would call it a infarct, where the cells completely stops functioning. That's called infarct. When you have the this point or two, this one small, small, minute impact, this one it does not contribute any kind of problems. But it have the major impact. In one side of the brains. So then, what happens? They complete that function. That area will completely stop the functions. When you stop the function, obviously it doesn't transmit any signals. Then you will have the one side of weakness. So that happens gradually. In fact, as the patient will have light blood weakness on the uh, uh, on the opposite side of the limb. Suppose you will have the right side of the kind of this one. In fact, a weakness that will have contributed left side. So left side will have light, little bit of slow weakness. That is, then if you don't treat it, if you don't visit your doctors, then what happens? Day by day, then this one the weakness increases it. Then after that, you will have made to the slurring speech. That again, the the intensity of speech again in that will start getting deteriorated. This is major signs and symptoms for this of. Cause of less blood circulation, which is caused by the stroke. This gives a slow indications and gives in symptoms and signs early, little bit, which gives as a precautionary measures you can take at early stage. But in case of this one, hemorrhage, which is the bleeding because of the high blood pressures, it gives a sudden things. In sudden, what it happens, it is exactly. So you have the kind of bleeding inside this. You can see it is. This is the mass bleedings 
with lovely surrounding that you can the white it gives it the uh, uh, fluid accumulation that is called what we call it consistency any month this, this one so it will in, it completely blocks half of this one your right side of the brain in the normal scenario you will have the pictures of the brain it's something in this way but in this case we will have this one that is a bleeding it's a mass bleeding so that uh, what will you do it is exactly immediate this one but the case of the bleeding it should be an immediate treatment maximum 12 hours if you also 20 hours is okay we can able to treat it but maximum is 12 hours in the 12 hours if we don't treat it to this one then suddenly this the weakness will be as a temporary it will go to the more of chronic way which will to recover again to the back stage it will become very difficult to uh, difficult for a doctors so in this case what is the price first of treatment we do it it's as a 24 hours emergency things we first will cause it is a bleeding to clean out of the bleeding if the bp is high then bring the control back with anti-hypertensive drugs if the patient is already on anti-hypertensive drugs increase the dose or alter the other kind of this anti-hypertensive drugs which is can bring the blood pressure under control that is first thing so we need to do to simultaneous that then we need to give it a GHG cerebral proteins which is what it does it this one this is the injections this one what it does it is immediately this which is blood covers this is cerebral parenchyma the cells we, it will just clean up that areas which is blocking that function of the cerebral parenchyma cells which is no very rare less doctors that gives these injections that's your then you have this one surroundings you have the this one edema or the fluid accumulations which is causing the pressure and it increases little bit of intracranial pressures so to re that also we need to reduce the top with that with the cerebral protein so we need to give it is diuretex diuretics what will does it will reduce this edema inside the brain that, that simultaneously but diuretics is not indicated all the time because maximum in case of strokes so first any mobile doctors or casual doctors they will give as a first is diuretics but it's not advisable in all the cases. Only when case there is this one bleeding, which is half this one edema, then you can give. But not in case of other kind of strokes, which is causes from due to the infarct. Because when there is no edema at all, so and you if it gives diuretics, there is no impact at all. When it's nothing is going to give you any impact anything, then there is no use of giving it is. Then second thing is acetylcholines yes, that is called because uh, we will give us a citicoline for this one which will increase this transmissions at the synaptic junctions because that keeps in the stroke it will destroy the, the transmission because of the there is less transmission goes from the brains that then at, at, apart from that we need to give other symptomatic medications but this three is major one is cerebral protein is first choice only only and one choice second is acetylcholine third is antidiuretics if there will be say, this can so is there is edema or any kind of this one bleeding which is increases internal pressures this is three major things it has to be given on emergency basis then this patient can recover all even this case also is a very complicated case this one which is needed to go for the surgery but surgery i don't have i don't advise as a first option for the surgery i go for the first option wait and watch give the medication as per the government if the patient gives a response then surgery will not be required if the patient does not give a response to this then patient condition is worsening and is sleeping to coma but still also I, I don't feel this one, I need to go for that. Then I wait and watch 
how did this one have GCS? If GCS is coming to day by day, day by day, it's deteriorating GCS. Then, I last option is for the surgery, to remove the bleeding, which is in the area, which there is a blood formation in that. That is the last option I kept it, but I don't go for as I do not go, or I don't suggest for the first options. Because when the patient gives a response to this, then why need to go for the surgery? That was the difference and other additional factors which will cause for this one which is this is patient gets recovery from that then supplement medications as you don't go on then whatever the, uh, things another side underlying causes this one we need to do how to not to get it recurrent things there are two major th things I got all EG, EG, the one EG is no uh, Stress, other is yes, maybe blood pressure. These two has to be able to control it. You know, to reduce your stress. Then we need to uh, control your condition, blood pressures. Apart from that, other underlying causes, smoke, which is contributes almost 40 to 50 percent this uh, stroke at the present societies. Then uh, uh, one more thing is even also alcohol that also consumes because it gives it its sudden it, it, uh, increase this brain's functions immediate manner frequent manner the okay, brain functions will be in this way it is moving it is suppose if you regular consuming alcohol it just increases this brain workout up work put in that way so when you are consuming alcohol it is have limited things and. Even also history of this stroke, better to avoid it and stop that things. If you are healthy, okay, fine, weekly once and depends on your requirement, depends on your how much you need. You are having it is very small quantities consumption, it's okay. But when you history of any kind of cerebrovascular accidents, so alcohol consumption, you need to completely stop that things. Then regular morning work. Which will reduce again your stress. It is increase the blood circulation. That again the God uh, keeps your brain on healthy status. And then this thing is your proper diet. And if you have this one having the uh, high triglycerides or high LD levels, control, mini control that two things with starting. And the next is is sleep time. That's very important. If you don't want to get good sleeps on the regular, at least till least three to four months, then there can be a chance of getting your uh, cerebral parenchyma getting weaker. So that will give you a multiple diffuse impact in your brain. So that can will have the small minute places. In fact, does not give that much changes. It will give like little bit, bit of anxieties. That's it. But when you have the multiple diffuse infarct, more of involving the periventricular regions, uh, then that can give you also this one. And stroke with other kind of underlying disorders that can uh, com completely weakness of all this, all the four limbs. Even also one side will be involved, but other side there will be also weakness. So, so stroke treating the stroke is under emergency management. You need to always well, go ahead. We need to see for one day, two day. This one get got now. We need to go for the by the time you get recovered. No. Always you need to get it treated maximum. This one 12 hours. If you delay it, it's, then it will be problem to get it recovered. So the percentage of recovery depends on the the durations, how much time he left it to visit the doctors. So it's very important to visit early to avoid any other kind of permanent disabilities. Okay, thank you.